Today we are checking out a knife that's actually made from a real fighter plane, the North American P-51 Mustang. Let's get it. The Boker P-51 Mustang is designed by Steve Kelly after the North American P-51 fighter plane. The blade is made of parts from the plane forged into Damascus done by one of the most renowned makers of Damascus, Chad Nichols. The Chad Nichols Damascus blade is made of 80 layers paired with original parts from the P-51 fighter plane. The P in P-51 stands for pursuit. The plane was known for its capabilities to reach ground breaking speeds. The P-51 fought in World War II and the Korean War. The profile of this knife is reminiscent of the fighter plane with the whole reminiscent of the cockpit canopy. The titanium handle replicates the studded metal plates of the airplane. The blue pivot bears the silver star of the US Army. The knife has red hardware based on the color scheme of the plane's tail rudder. You can easily see the homage paid towards the P-51 and its premium materials make it a very reliable knife using titanium as the handle and frame lock for strong and secure lockup. This is a very patriotic knife and I want to take this moment to thank all the men and women that have served our country. We are blessed to have such tough and relentless soldiers protecting us. Now, let's get into the action and overall build quality of this knife. Now let's take an up close look at the action because the detent on the opening is extremely snappy. It has rapid deploying action. The detent is very unique feeling. It almost feels like it is a detent nub, like Sharp Eye Design's Brian Nadeau, or even maybe something similar to what you'd feel from the Oz Roosevelt. Now, it is just a regular detent, so it is not a nub, nor a double detent like the Oz Roosevelt, but it has that unique snappiness, that clean, very clean break when you do the reverse flick. So the reverse flick is very satisfying, extremely satisfying reverse flick. Now the flipper tab is also really good. It requires more of a light switch than a push button, but you can technically push button it, but it, it really likes a light switch. Now the, the closing is very smooth. So it is riding on ceramic caged bearings, making it extremely smooth on the drop. And overall, the build quality is fantastic. Amazing build quality. I have very, very little nitpicks that we're gonna talk about, but the ergos, really nice in the hand. The knife overall is made in Taiwan and the USA. Obviously the blade would be USA made. The handle's probably Taiwan. So a little bit of both. We have the ceramic ball clip that doesn't work too bad for a ceramic ball clip because it doesn't have a ton of tension. So it slides in and out of the pocket relatively easy. So as far as nitpicks go, I'm not gonna get too crazy, but I have two major things. Well, not major. I have two of my biggest things. And one is the detent is very late when you close it. So when you disengage it, it hits the detent ball and it's very late. Now, some people not, might not mind that because they're just gonna close it like that anyways. They're just gonna close it all the way, but some people like to get past the detent and feel the smoothness of the bearings. So in that case, you are going to run into the detent every time. It is a very, very late detent. The next thing is I wish the lock bar had a little bit better access. It is very slim in the hand. The scales are nice and slim. It's not bad. I can easily disengage it. So I don't wanna make it seem like it's horrible, but I prefer a little bit more access to my lock bar. Other than that, anything else would be extreme nitpicks the price tag is hefty as far as the price tag goes yes it is a high price tag right around 480 dollars but you can kind of understand it when you consider who's involved making it and what's involved to make this so and i can't imagine there's a ton of them being made i'm not sure the exact number but 
The person that's going to buy this is going to buy it for patriotic reasons and collector reasons. They're not going to be buying it to go beat up on the job site. Not saying they're not going to use it, but it's not going to be a beater knife. This is going to be something special in someone's collection, and Boker did do an incredible job on it. Until next time.